Let's delve into this with Lauren Fix. She's an automotive expert and editor-in-chief of Car Coach Reports. Welcome to the show. Thank you. Now, what's hot in the auto industry this year? What are you looking forward to in this show? Well, I think one of the biggest things we're looking at is new forms of propulsion. Now, we all know about gas and diesel, and a lot of people are looking at electric, but BMW and a lot of other manufacturers are working with hydrogen. And part of the interesting mix with that is hydrogen can be used to propel a combustion engine or charge an electric battery. So it's very interesting to see this new technology and how it's being used in China. How is it being used in China? Do we have any uh, you know, reports, anything in progress yet? Believe it or not, Shanghai has the largest blue gas gas station in all of the world. They have $66 billion invested in blue gas. Now, blue gas is hydrogen, and we're starting to see a lot of this not just in commercial applications used for different municipalities, but BMW is now going to be bringing a, their X5, which is their mid-sized, very popular SUV, into the U.S. with blue gas. So this is going to be something very interesting and a totally different way to looking at having a, a new energy vehicle. Mm. Laura, China's auto sales in the second quarter leaped uh, by more than 10%, the first quarterly gain in two years. Is this early signs the industry is climbing out of a crater left by the pandemic? I think there's a huge demand globally. I mean, we all were locked down for so long, and people are in need of vehicles, whether they leased or they purchased them. There's a big rollover. Here in the U.S., there's over a million vehicles that are going off each month that are rolling off of a lease. So they have to purchase something. So it's causing their own demand. Although sales are down not just in China, they're also down in the U.S. They're starting to pick up quicker in China because the demand is very strong. Right. And so, as, you know, globally, is the auto, auto industry out of the woods yet, would you say? Uh, we're not out of the woods yet. I think we're on our way there. It's going to take quite a bit of time. I think the rest of this year for the auto industry as a whole on a global basis is going to struggle. Uh, it's getting product out on the pipeline into the dealer network. And some of that is parts coming from China or from other areas of the world. You can't sell a car that's only 99% complete. So as these hmm. components start getting back up to speed, getting them to the factories and getting product back out, and of course there's got to be demand or they're not going to build them. Right. Now, just this week, President Xi Jinping said China needs to boost its national car brands. What is demand like for homegrown names versus the international ones? Uh, homegrown, especially in China, is very popular. I know that Tesla is building vehicles there, and that's great, but I think consumers of their own country, of course, want to have the pride of driving vehicles that come from their country. And there's a lot of brands that are in China that are doing very well, and some of them are starting to expand globally into the U.S. even. Right. Now, are there any trends you see in the auto market this year that's quite unique to China? Uh, I'm, I'm sorry, I missed part of that. Sorry, are there any trends that you're seeing this year that are unique to China in the auto industry? Oh, what trends are one of the big things for China is used cars. That was something that was never a trend uh, in China in the past. It was typically a new car you kept it for a long time, you sold it to someone else or gave it to someone else in your family. Well, in this case, you're now starting to see a used car market, which is very interesting because in the past there was nothing but new cars. Hmm. So you're watching the luxury market grow very quickly also. It's something that's very big for China. 